But let's get back to some true hip hop stuff right now. Um, first, we're going to cover a little bit of battle rap. We had basically about three battles drop. We had a PG battle. We had Snake Eyes um, versus Big Hand. We had Head Ice versus Big K. Uh, we had Clean versus Ty Law. Um, let's let's first get into this Head Ice Big K battle. And my sister, she's not a big fan of Head Ice. It seems like you know. Nah, 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 not at all. I think, I, but you did. You know what I think? You didn't think this was a good battle, nah. though. No, I don't think so. I think what it is is that like he's so. Like, he, he's kind of like the elderly that you know is damn well past his time, but you let him rock because he's just been doing it for ages. Like, he, I, I will say that it seems like he's he's well-respected, but as far as actually being um, agile enough to still be battling, I, I don't know. That issue is kind of weak to me. I'm sorry. Nah. Like, Head Ice has some shit this battle, in my opinion. Uh, I liked um, several of his lines. I thought he had good energy, and I thought he had good performance. Um, it's a debatable battle, in my opinion. Uh, I think the first round was debatable. I gave the second round to Head Ice, clearly. And I gave the third round to Big K, there clearly. So I think it's a 2-1 either way. And, you know, Ice got style. Ice is hit or miss for me. You know, sometimes I like Ice, sometimes I don't. It all depends, and I like them this battle. I don't know. What What was your thoughts on the battle, Mikhail? Um, for me, it was a, a, a it was a close one. I agree with you on that. Uh, I say two one either way as well. I, I do I, I do have to admit though that oh, Head Ice is an acquired taste. You know Very I mean? acquired. So, <laughs> he's an acquired taste. Like for if you somebody you mean who, an antique taste. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. He, if kinda you somebody, you you, you kind of like that bad. lingo he kind of be spitting. So he's an acquired taste. Yeah. I, I actually like Ice, but you know sometimes yeah. he is a little hit or miss too. Sometimes he cannot land, you know what I mean. And then he's in a crowd where they're so somewhat mesmerized at his at his presence basically because he's a street dude from New York and he kind of brings that. Mark that that uh, marketing of himself into the KOTD crowd. So, uh, yeah. as you realize, when he was in a, when he was at uh, URL, wasn't nobody that impressed like that. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. But I, I, I'm 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 pretty much I'm kind of siding with you on that. That I get that the first one is kind of close. It's hard to kind of judge that one. Uh, I get uh, Head Ice to second and uh, Big K to third. Yeah, and you know why uh, Big K need to stop getting emotional. He's an emotional ass battle rapper, man. Like he get emotional a lot. Like when um, Head Ice brought up ass, like ass pussy, ass that. Like he doesn't realize that take away from what he's saying. It amplified Ice Round when he did that. It's always bad when you show your emotions in battles. You know, that's all it do is hype up the other person around. So. Especially Ice was smart when he said, hey, nah, let him get salty. Because, you know, he, he flipped it. I think K realized he made a mistake, so even he started laughing once he did that. You know, so. But, yeah, sister. Um, Head Ice, I, I can understand. Like, if that's your first time seeing Head Ice, I could definitely understand you not really feeling it. Because he says a lot of stuff that, you know, even some hardcore battle rap fans might not really understand the lingo he's saying all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, right. it was a good battle, though. It, it, it definitely was. I like that Stop Life um, under Stop Light um, rhyme, rhyme, too, man. Like, he had he had a lot of slick little um, clever stuff he was saying in the battle. But the, I, I guess the problem with Ice is sometimes he hit dry spots, too. You know, like yeah, I said a lot. Had, of, I said a lot of dry spots. It, it the thing is, what um, the thing is with Big K, he um, he does that only in that atmosphere, though. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when he was on URL, there was a whole lot of humility there. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but he he get up in KOTD. He and same thing with Pat State. Pat State pull that same nonsense. You know what I mean? So. He was over in London. He was real humble, though, you know. So. And when he was from the Calico, too, he was real humble. 
Yeah, ca- Calico brought yeah, Calico, the fear of God out of him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Calico was on him. Calico was on him, man. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting one. But yeah, it's a it's a good battle. If y'all haven't checked it out, um, I suggest you check it out. Um, and I think Ice is a battle rapper that proves sometimes it's not all about bars. I'm not saying Ice don't have any bars. He got some, but he's not. I think we could agree he's not really a bar heavy type of dude. But his flow, the way he says stuff, just amplify um, his rhymes. Even though sometimes some of the stuff he says is simple. But other times it's real witty. You know, you just kind of got to listen. Good battle. Uh, what I do want to ask you, um, both of y'all, this, uh, specifically Mikael, though, uh, with Big K, do you think he need to switch up his flow a little bit? Do you think his flow is kind of getting played out like, you know, how Magic had the same cadence all the time? And like, with Big K, I'm starting to see, like, you know, he having, like, the same cadence every time he rap right now. Do you think he need to switch that up, or if it's not broke, don't fix it? Well, in that crowd, um, he can pretty much keep it because they're gonna accept it. And in that crowd, you kind of have it. You gotta, you kind of gotta have it. Whereas if you don't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. In that mm-hmm. atmosphere. Um, but if he plans on getting on URL, he's gonna definitely have to ch- switch that up because people will get tired of that real quick. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, you- Big K is a little. He's a little overblown to me. I ain't going to say overrated because I don't hear anybody saying he's like top five, but I feel top like he's five, a little top overblown. Top I mean, they be on some, you know, he ain't lost a battle since this and that. Like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He ain't been on that I, in the run. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought um, Big Cannon beat him. I thought he lost to Big Cannon, in my opinion. It was a good battle, though. I will give him this. He having like clearly, clearly lost. I I, I edge it to Cannon, but I don't think, you know, it was super clear. So I, I, I give K his props, but you know, no, like, I don't know. I, he got he got one clear loss on his record. But Rosenberg. Oh yeah, right? Rosenberg. <laughs> Rosenberg smoked him. Yeah, Rosenberg definitely won. I mean, he had a debatable with Ill Mac too. I think you could go either or on that battle. No, I don't I think know. that's debatable. I feel like Ill Mac took that clearly. I don't even you feel like that's so? debatable. I thought I it was edge, a classic. Yeah, I but, edge Ill Mac, but I, I I can I won't be mad if somebody said K um won that because K was spazzing too in that battle. Yeah. It was good, but I feel like Ill Mac clearly it was like that battle reminds me a lot of like Hitman and Verb. Mm-hmm. Like Hitman was great every round. It's just that Verb might have edged every round. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about the Ill Mac Big K. Like Big K was good every round. I just feel like Ill Mac might have edged every round. He was just a little better every round. Yeah, I'm not mad at that opinion either, uh, because they was both snapping. And you know, I like those type of battles where you could have an honest debate about, okay, you know, I feel this way and you feel that way. Because there's some people think that Hitman edged the first two rounds against Verb, and you know that's debatable too. You know, I just like battles like that. We need to get more like that. Yeah, that's that, kind of so. crackheaded. That's kind of crackheaded. Right <laughs> yeah. Man, ain't in the first two rounds. Y'all stop that. Y'all just doing it to spite Bird. Stop it. That boy Bird was in his bag that battle. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a classic. That Bird, he was in rare form that night. Rare form that night, and when he battled Cortez, rare form Bird. But uh, moving on to the next battle. Um, Ty Law versus QP. Clean paper. <laughs> this yes. was an excellent battle. Excellent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, take it away, Meek. I mean, ain't much, much to say about it. Ain't much to say about it. That boy, man, if you're talking about a one-rounder, this was the one. This was the one. I mean, uh, QP, it was good to see him back to where he was at when he was first coming up. Uh mm-hmm. And uh, Ty Law, Ty Law just unorthodox. I watch every Ty Law battle that ever drops. I don't care who he battling, because I know he's going to say something. You're going to be like, man, what the hell? How did he even put that together? But, yeah. <laughs> what was wild, he came out barring, like the first bar. How your first bar, Haymaker? That doesn't make no sense, man. 
You talking about the, uh, the, 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 like, uh, the, the paid full bar he spit? Oh, not even that. That was a haymaker, too. But the, oh but the cartridge, God. the cartridge not, not, um, fixed, so you blow it. Uh, right. with the coke oh, thing. Yo, yeah. That yeah, yeah, first yeah. First bar, man. I was like, like, how you start off like that? You didn't even set it up. Just come out like that. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Yeah, I'm I'm a fan of I'm a fan of that though. But I I'm hoping QP keep this up though. I hope he keep it up. See, and the thing is, I ain't even like his zigzag performance. I don't know if you seen that one when he battled zigzag. I ain't even like that performance. But this one here was good. I, it was a, a really good first round. It's probably one of the better first rounds I done watched. I mean, better one round as I done watched like in some years. So yeah, this was really yeah. good. I thought his performance against Zigzag was okay. I think this was a better performance, though. Um, it, it definitely was. I like like QP seemed like he having fun again. You know, it seemed that like he was enjoying him. himself out there. <laughs> so look at your shoes while I'm rapping. Like he said, what are you talking? Mm-hmm. Look down at the ground while I'm rapping. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So my man said, my man said, you a tall dude that want to want to use your reach. <laughs> I'm the short dude. I don't give a fuck about boxing. Like, yo, he had a whole bunch of joints. <laughs> like, you know, oh, that the biscuit line, the Mama Payne biscuit yes. line. Yes. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm oh, Payne's God. I'm Payne's my mama fool with the biscuits. Go, go ahead, Miss Baba. We, we've we been hogging the conversation. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, y'all, y'all the real battle rap guru. So I was letting y'all rock. But, I mean, if I have to say something, I will say that. This battle was extra lit. It was so much better, than, especially coming off of, because I listened to that Big Head and Ice Cube rap uh, uh, right beforehand. So, <laughs> disrespect so, it. Yeah, come on, man. What you so call Big Head and Ice Cube? Big Head, Big Head and Ice Cube. That is, I was just like, what so the? Disrespect. So then when I actually listened to this one, with, what, how you pronounce his name? Clean Paper? Clean paper yeah, versus QP Tyler? or clean paper, yep. Clean paper, okay. All right, I ain't mad at it. But in any event, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is what I was talking about. But, yeah, this ish was crazy. And at first when um, clean paper was, you know, he's around, he started around one, I was like, yo, there's no way anyone could top this. But then Ty Law came on and he was, he just literally just went in. This nigga said, blasting at his ribs, in the sky like Stevie Wonder. Uh, what? Yeah, that was fire. Yeah, that was crazy. That, that was, was like, fire. So Ill. And then he said, what else he said? He said some shit. He said, um, he go back a foot like in the Achilles heel. I was like, yeah. oh. Yeah. That was fire, too. The belly yes. and the beast line, too, happened when Ty Law said that. Oh, man. Yeah. That mm-hmm. was Man, it was just it's just was too like many damn, bars to He quote. was like damn near blow. Yeah, he was like blow for blow, and that's why I was like, okay, I could rock with him because clean paper. He had don't get me wrong, he definitely had um bars, but I just feel like Ty Lord, It was like damn near every. He just had he was he just kept hitting them like he didn't even get him give him a chance to breathe. Yeah, he just kept hitting. I, I I regret that we ain't see that go three rounds. I really regret right. we ain't see that go three rounds. Right. Yeah. But they said it was a last minute thing, though. The only drawback to this battle, the only negative I would put on it, and it's not that big of a deal. You could tell that Ty Law was spitting some of the bars he had for Verb. Because, but, you know, I I won't, I won't get on him too hard for that because it was a last minute. You know, he was supposed to battle Verb. So I'm not too mad about it. It kind of reminded me, you remember when B Magic and John John battled? And B Magic was actually supposed to battle Bricks, but it got yeah, canceled last minute. And um, John that John was a classic in. too. Yeah, yeah. And you could tell that um, B Magic was spitting some of the bars he had for Bricks too. And yeah. John John showed up that battle. That's one of John John's best performances right there. Yeah, he he, he took off in that one. Yeah, yeah. He definitely he def that might have been the battle that made him up and coming. That really made people take notice. Of him. It might have been that B Magic battle. Right there. So yeah. Classic. That was classic. about the only about one of the about the, one of the only times he used the multiple choice and I liked it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, because that was the first time he used it. Then he played it. You can't play something you actually bit for somebody else. That multiple choice shit is actually Sirius Jones. It's 
scheme. Sirius Jones came up with that. Right. And, you know, yeah. so he took it once. We said, okay, you use it at one time. We give you that pass. But he took it and just made it his own without giving Sirius Jones his props for it until he got called out for it. it wasn't a good look. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't be biting like that. That's not a good look. Not a good look at all. But yeah, shout out to Clean Paper. Shout out to Ty Law. And um, I hope to see Ty Law battle more often, man. You know, so I definitely hope he's sticking to small rooms because I don't, I actually don't want to see Ty Law on big stages like that because I don't think, at least in the URL, I don't think the crowd will let him rock because of his unorthodox flow. And like he sometimes he get kind of awkward. I think the car, the the crowd would kind of, you know, not be patient enough to let Ty Law live on the big stage. I don't know how you feel about that, me. Well, for me, I personally I think that uh, if Ty Law just continues to do what he do, then he'll eventually allow. Because what what happens is the the audience kind they they sort of adapt to what you're gonna do. Same way we was talking about the young X and uh, Dot battle uh, before <laughs> and we were saying mm-hmm. Dot showed up but he didn't do what we were expecting him to do so if people start expecting Ty Law to be like that then when the audience listens to him this is what they will fall back and wait for you know I think he's growing to that point where they'll be waiting on those bars you know those bars and catching it and what's go, you know the things that go over your head it's, it's crazy because it's like Ty Law and Lux is the only ones I continue to watch their rounds over and over again for the stuff I miss yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> them the only yeah. two that, that 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 I do that with. That's why I think Ty Law might have trouble in a big room because he punch. That's all he does is punch, but you might not get his punch right away. Like, yeah. cause I watched the clean paper battle twice, and I picked up on like five different bars that I totally missed the first time I listened to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so same here, same here. Yeah. I don't know, because like, you see how Chilla changed his style a little bit. He made he punched in a lot more because the crowd wasn't going to be patient with those long-ass schemes. So you had to kind of like shorten it down a little bit and start punching a little bit more. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So we'll, we'll see, though. I got a question for y'all, though. I got a question, Go a serious question. Where, where was Clean Paper at, though? Because as he was rapping, it was almost it was real apparent that – this is maybe like his first time back or, or something. He said something along those lines. Where uh, was he? Well, a short, a short backstory on Clean Paper. Clean Paper was somebody who was coming up pretty fast in the uh, URL ranks. Uh, mm-hmm. He had early battles. He had a classic with B Magic. He had a uh, fire. Real good, real good battle versus John John. Good battle versus uh, uh, Tay Rock. Bill Collector. Detroit. Yeah, Bill Collector battle was real good. Uh, although he started, but that's when the choking started with uh-huh. the bill collector, and he started choking. Yeah. And then I think the drug situation kind of took him, and so he was kind of out the game for a minute. But then he came back, uh, what about a year and a half ago, with a battle versus Arsenal. That's fire. Yeah. Fire. If, if, had... Baba, if you want to battle, if you want to battle yeah. to see QP at his best, check out the battle with him versus Arsenal. The the part uh... where he goes on when he started looking around the stage, and they say, "What you doing?" I'm trying to see the fuck you yeah. talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying the to find who the fuck you talking to? Yeah. QP versus QP was a good battle too. Yeah, that was a that was a fire battle too. Yeah, yeah. It's another QP too that's in his crew. Quantum physics. Like, uh that was a very that was a good battle too. So, but uh, what happened was QP. I, I don't know what it was. Personal issues was they saying it was drugs or whatever. That's why that uh, the cartridge blow line in the beginning of Ty Law uh, right. uh, yeah. round was fire. But uh, he was like missing days, not showing up, not showing yeah. up, taking people money and bouncing. You know, so. Oh, so basically he was tired of acting like a like a bitch, so he had to find the L. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you trying to spit a yeah, bar? Yeah, I didn't even get it. That that was a bar, but y'all. That went over our head, head bro. That head. went over our head. Cause he spelled say, say it his again. name say it again. like Queen. Listen, 
So I said, basically, he was tired of acting like a little bitch, so he wants to find the L. I still don't get it. Because you get it? <laughs> if, you, if, his, <laughs> if his name didn't have an L in it, he would be a queen, like a queen bitch. Oh, okay. You get it? Gotcha. Oh, you have to find the L. I got you. I got you. Catch up. Okay. Catch up. Catch up. Okay. Okay. Got you. Got you. You've been listening to Ty Law. Yo, she listened to Ty Law one time, and now she wants to start spinning over the head bars. Okay. That's Yo, what's up. and I was a haymaker. That was my first one, and I was a haymaker. Body bags. Both the eyes just got body bags. I, I, nah, I just wasn't expecting it. Like, if I was expecting you to say something like that, I probably would have caught it. But, like, hey, this is the first time you ever spit a bar. That's what's up. Good job. Yeah, yo. you know. See me, see me next week. I'm gonna have a few more for y'all. Oh yeah, we got okay. that writing show coming out too. So don't forget about okay. that. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't even plug that. I didn't even plug that yet. All right, maybe at the end of the show, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about it. Um, before we get into the classic reasonable doubt, um, you know, Mikhail, did you catch the Snake Eyes versus Big Hand battle? I actually, I didn't. Yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. I know I was supposed to be prepped, but I, I, I didn't catch it. That's okay. What do you think about Snake Eyes overall? Uh, I've only seen another battle from him. That's the dude that used to be on uh, uh, one of the radio shows, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've only seen yeah, like that, maybe another that battle from him. He, he I, I, I can't. He don't have like that thing that kind of uh, differentiate him from other PG people. You know what I mean? Yeah, and the people I kind of follow was the ones that kind of give me that little special, that little extra. Because there's so many battle rappers now. You know what I mean? Well, like back yeah. when we first started watching, it was like a certain small group you'll watch. But now since there's so many, man, if they don't have that little special, I don't, you know, it's hard for me to check them out like that. You know, I, wait I like a minute. Snake so I'm gonna put, wait, I got to put myself out there real quick. What is PG? Uh, it's, it's called the. <laughs> oh, nah, it's called the Proving Ground. <laughs> It's like a oh. system um, that the URL Battle League, URL Smack Battle League have for up and comers or people that don't have the bigger names to battle to mm-hmm. help get their names up. You know what I'm oh, saying? I see, I it's see. kind of familiar. It's kind of familiarized them before they get on the big major stage. You know, uh, getting a little bit of practice time because a lot of the people there, some of them might not have. A, a lot of battles or they might have been battling in smaller leagues on smaller stages. It's just kind of like, you know, almost like a developmental system. So like I said, parental guidance, I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. One bit bars today. <laughs> Ty Law got us fired up out here. Ty Law got us. Ty Law got this Bob Yo, picking I'm up hot. the pen in the pad out here. So, See, so you, I know I'm hotter than Big Head. I know that much. Yeah, uh, Big K. I'm not gonna watch the, the uh, Big Head uh, and uh, Ice Cube battle no more. We, we don't. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miss Bobby, you, you gonna write some? You writing some bars for for our writing show? Then? Yep, I'm gonna have to do it. Like I didn't even want to because I was trying to leave that to the to the um, professionals. But I'm like, I'm looking at it like these niggas need my help. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's see how it goes. <laughs> you you hear that <laughs> awkward silence? That real awkward yeah. silence. <laughs> Word. Yo, me. Just she, let she, that doesn't re- she doesn't realize how disrespectful she is. <laughs> this I'm not even mad disrespectful. disrespectful. Like that's just that's just you what it is. Are, it's like crazy. head ice been battling since what? Like the fucking nineties? Before I was born, yeah, we know. <laughs> Like I think he had I seriously, I think he literally been battling since like the nineties. Like real shit. Not even no old jokes, nothing. Like yeah. yo, that's a like yo, that's a true veteran right there, man. Super mm-hmm. you gotta give the OG some respect. 